Alright guys, as you can tell, I'm fairly new to this uh, video deal, you know, making videos. So it's a trial and error thing here with me, so bear with me. What that looks like is a, I'll try to straighten it out here, looks like a piece of horse tack. It's a moon. Oh yes. It's a moon mm. ring. Nice. It's got something written on it, looks like. Looks like it might have a 925 on it. Oh, silver. Oh, that could have just been dirt too, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> We're getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> Eyes are getting old. This looks like, hey, would you look at that? It's a watch. Oh, I might have broke it. Are you serious? The first target, guys, I am stoked right now. The first target out of this field is a ring look at that just a bling ring it's got a skull and it is just a horrible looking ring evil looking ring and at first i thought when i dug this this is my first target of the day i thought man i'm gonna have me a really good day unfortunately it was just the opposite But anyways, I think the curse has been lifted. Can you guys see that? Yes, sir. I will take that. Let's see how clean we can get it. It's a beautiful ring. Yeah. That's tiger's eye, it looks like, huh? Guy's got a big finger, that's for sure. I got my second watch. I don't think the time is right but actually what this is it's an it looks like a bottle cap that somebody put a clasp through I got it cleaned up and it says God so loved the world and it's got a smiley face on it and uh, that's from one of the most popular Bible verses you know John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life being the size that i am i can only fit so far underneath those bleachers uh, i have a, a limit to where i can go but look at storm and norman look at him go this is what it's all about right here guys he said he's already got it out of the hole what do you got norm he's gonna drop in my hand here what do you got buddy <gasps> Norman! Yeah, buddy, that's my first Are you point. kidding me? No, it was ringing up like an 83. Nice, brother. Can you guys see what that is right there? Yeah, I mean, I think it's Norman's got him a Mercury. Yeah. Looks like a nice little gold bracelet. I'm not sure if it's real or not. I'll have to check and see if there's a hallmark on it. Yeah, that's a great way to start the day right there. And I got one quarter that was mangled by the mower. Looks like a Pac-Man quarter. All right. Quarter, dime. Thought I, I thought I filled one more here. Another quarter, penny. Oh, here's more. It looks like a penny there. Like a little slot machine. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Oh, dude. Look at yeah, that. Look at that. Man. <laughs> Jeez. I'm still filling more. Still yeah, somebody dropped a lot of change right here. Stick your pointer down there, see if Yeah, definitely. There's still something down there. Oh, heck yeah. Thought I built something here. Oh, yep. Another dime. Oh, here's a penny right here, Phil. Oh. Another quarter. <laughs> it's the hole it never stops giving. Pretty cool looking guy. Looks like he should be holding on to a metal detector or something. Maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe he's out here metal detecting, lost his detector. Got stranded. I came along and found him. And this is scary. This is the first time I've ever found something like this. Uh, I have found several uh, 
unfired bullets, shell casings, fired bullets, and, and such. But this is the first time I have actually found a loaded 9mm magazine. And on the way out, we ran into the caretaker, and I was talking to him about that. And he was telling me about some uh, odd characters that were down here a couple months ago that he had to call the sheriff on and get them out of here and they they were telling him that they were down here looking for something that they had lost and uh, in the area where I found it is where they were looking and so that's probably what they dropped anyway so the sheriff was called they came out and they uh, talked to the caretaker and, and myself and took a report and took the magazine with them so I do not have that here in my roundup and then possibly uh, you know, proving that Bigfoot does exist. Uh, that was on the ground, just picked it up and then realized that there's a bunch of hair in there. I don't know what kind of hair it is. And uh, yeah, it's gonna, get thrown, it's gonna get thrown away real, real quick here. Yeah, there has been sightings of Bigfoot down here where we're at, guys. That's cool. Looks like a, a one-armed cowboy. It is, it's an old cowboy. That's still cool. There's this six gun on his hip. His six shooter he's not holding his rifle that's what it was yeah maybe he's holding a rifle in the other hand that's exactly yeah his buck knife neat i like that so i'm thinking he probably stood on that base at one time anyways i'll get a close-up picture of the details on this looks like it says 1971 on it i was thrilled to get this one here it's got the letter n and then it says pearl harbor and then five, six, and a partial number. It's either a one or a seven. But I'm gonna see if I can't research that. It looks like it's blank on the other side, except for a little bit of fancing on the outer edge. That's all pitted right there, it looks like. And when I popped it open, it wasn't a penny. What we got here is one of those cheap aluminum rings, one of those kids' rings. These come up just like a penny, but they're always fun to find. So, got, a, got us a ring today, it's a cheapy. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. I'd like to thank you guys for all the support. I did finally, I reached 100 subscribers on my channel and uh, I'm thrilled about that. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you uh, for leaving the thumbs up on my videos. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. And then the find of the day was this guy right here. That's the um, Buffalo Nickel. And there's a 1929, after I got it cleaned up, I was able to tell, it's a 1929. Oops. I want to give a, a special shout out to my sister-in-law, Julie, back there in Kentucky, who um, sent me a little video here a while back, poking fun at me. This is, this is my roundup, Bob. This is what I come up with today. Just a bunch of can slaw as you would call it here's my antique can what do you think i can get for that something else that i end up going out and walking out of there with was ta-da i got the new the new equinox 800 man come on let's keep our fingers crossed guys let's get some silver with this new machine i have gone over this area right here time and time again looking for these kind of coins and this equinox 800 man it's proven itself today looks like a 1937 boy it's got some good detail on it she's in good shape that's what we're here looking for guys that guys is a thimble That is a bucket luster for me. I have never found one before until now. A lot of these that you find, uh, where I see people finding them, they're, they're, they're silver. I'm not sure if this one, this is in good shape, man. I am really impressed with this. This thing is in really good shape. No dents or anything. And I'm still learning this machine and the numbers that it gives me. So I was like, okay, well, what does a, an 11 give you when you dig it up? And this is what it gave me. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the camera out. And we'll film this one here. Looks so like we got another ring. This is the second ring with the Equinox. And the third time I've had it out. 
So just looking at it, it looks like it's probably a junker, but a ring's a ring. I'll take it. But it's a token of some sort. And I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, it says 25 on one side. It's got four stars surrounding that. And then on the other side, it says G-R-M-L-A-N. Might be Gremlin. Gremlin, maybe. There might be an I in there. Saycoin. Laycoin. Laycoin. L-A-Y coin. And with a star in the middle. I'm thinking it's probably some sort of... It's a piece off of a like a trunk or a dresser or something, some type of furniture, Just something decorative. Looks like an arrow, but it could have been a flower or something. Maybe it's a stem. I see some, maybe what could have been petals from a flower. But it's old. That's a pretty cool find. I like it. I thought it was like some sort of like a, maybe like a strap off of suspenders or something I wasn't sure but he says actually what this is is something to do with the the printing press where it holds the the letters down or something for a printing press from back in the 1800s I guess there's a little teeth on it there you can feel them it's kind of neat the powers of mother nature look at that this is a weed so I went ahead and I just pulled it out of the ground but you see the the root system here it looks like a carrot anyways look at that that thing grew right through that stinking pull tab. Would you look at that? That is so cool. That is really neat. It looks like a little guy or something setting down. I wonder what that is. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, it's a St. Peter's St. Peter charm. It's a religious charm. Isn't that neat? That is awesome. I love it. Pray for us. Boy, do we need that. Man, I cannot tell what that is. It's got some kind of cool design. It looks like a coin. I'll get a try to get this thing cleaned up and get a decent picture for you guys to put up on the on the screen it's a it's a Canadian one cent commemorative coin and the date on it is uh, there's a date range from 1867 to 1967 and uh, when we looked it up uh, Matt says that they were only made for one year so yeah that's a really cool find I'm happy with that one this dog has followed me everywhere today so far She's wearing my arm out. The more I throw the ball, the more she wants it. You want this ball, huh? Go get it. She'll go and get it and bring it right back to me. It's a little silver heart. Looks like it has a fancy G on it or something. It opens up, but there's nothing in it. Cool beans. Oh, nice. That is a cool find right there, guys. Ah, too bad it's bent. I wonder if I can try to straighten that out, heat it up and straighten it out. That's an old skeleton key. That is nice. I've only ever found a couple of these before. This is actually like my third one. An old skeleton key. So I found this three separate pieces in the same hole. It's a part of a captain. Um, that, that's about it. It says Buffalo Bill on it. And I know Matt found pieces of the cap gun. Might be part of the same, maybe not. Part of the set, and I think you, at some point when you show your roundup, I think you have a badge. Yeah. So it might be all part of a kit, but I think we all kind of found bits and pieces of somebody's uh, cap gun set, like Cowboys and Indians. Maybe, huh? Yeah, yeah. that's a pretty cool find, Norm. I like yeah. that. That is, that's awesome. Alright guys, I just like this other one right here. This one says Rodeo on it. Just got a piece of it. Too bad these things weren't uh, whole. It looks like another part of a toy. I got my uh, 
through a blank. The printing <clears> plate. <throat> yeah, it had me stumped over there. I was finding piece after piece of this thing and thought I was onto something pretty cool. And apparently I was. But yeah, you can see right here where it says Myers backwards. And then I'm not sure how the other pieces fit together. But I thought that was a pretty cool find. Alright guys, I just scooped this one here up. Got me a Canadian... Looks like a Canadian penny. 1964 Canadian one cent. I'll take it. I like it. I like finding Canadian coins. There it is right there. It looks like it's a ring. Okay, uh, for a minute there I was thinking it was one of those. I used to make those coin rings. I used to make rings out of quarters a few years back. And that's what I thought I had here because I saw that ridge on the one side. But I think what we got here is just a cheapy, just a cheap ring. Kind of cool looking, I like it. Okay, we got a foreign coin, guys. I like finding foreign coins. That one's kind of pitted, I can't tell what it is. Probably Mexico. This one says... Oh wow, Bing Crosby. I don't know what it's for, but it's pretty neat. And Bing Crosby, he was a... What was he, a singer I think, wasn't he? Singer, an actor? Back in the old days. I think it was before my time, anyways. I've been on a roll lately with these Canadian coins. 1977 Canada. One cent. Got me another Canadian penny. Sweet. I haven't taken it out of the plug yet or the, the dirt to see what it is. Looks like it has a hole in the center, but... Looks like I'm going to have some sort of writing on it or something. I see a ridged ed edge on it. So let's take a look at this together. Pop it off of here. Let's see what we got. It's stuck. Ah, oh, jeez. Man, I get so excited over nothing. It's an old plant hook. <laughs> I'll just scoop this one here up. And I was expecting another penny. It's coming in just like a penny signal. But it's actually a pretty cool button. There's the back side. You can see the shank. And on the front side, it appears to be a dog wearing sunglasses. How cool is that? Never seen a button like that. That's pretty neat. I'll take it. This guy here, I just found him. I saw, I just, you can see where I kicked up the ground right here. I saw that tank sticking up out of the dirt and I kicked it with my foot to see what it was. And it looks like I got Scuba Steve. Yeah. So now I got a Sycamore Steve and a Scuba Steve. He's got his scuba gear on and his flippers. Hey, that's evidence that there was water here at one time. Oh, it's a St. Christopher. St. Christopher protect us. That's awesome. I love it. This had a really decent signal here. I was thinking it was going to be another quarter. Coming up like a 29.30. And I just took my hand and just kind of started brushing the dirt. And right there's a signal. And it looks like I might have, I'm not sure. Looks like it might be a ring. It is. We got us a ring, guys. Nice. This one looks like it has some stones in it. And yeah, is it missing stones or those are different? Man, that's a pretty ring. I like that. And I got my hopes built up for nothing. This one says Thailand on the inside. But wait, there's another stamp on the other side. It is 925. 925 Thailand silver. All right. So we got us a silver ring, guys. Awesome. There's the elk. I'm on my way over to that other cove. 
and I think this might be the same herd that was down there in the uh, dry lake bed eating breakfast this morning there's one big buck right up here on the hill another big buck right there behind the trees actually two big bucks and then it looks like the rest of these guys are all doe. Oh, there's a third buck up there too. Here it comes. Absolutely third gorgeous buck. creatures though. I was expecting a penny. I popped the plug out right here. And when I popped it out, this flipped up out of the dirt right here. And at first I thought it was going to be a pull tab. And when I moved it, I saw it wasn't a pull tab. And I thought, you know what, better get the camera on. We just got a ring. I'm not sure if it's silver. It's got a little stone in it. It looks old. Looks like it's been there for a while. But, oh wow. This thing has got a bunch of little stones here on the side, too. I see them sparkling now. Wow. But this thing was a pretty solid number. But you know what? I'll go ahead and dig it up. I got all weekend. I'll dig it up. And I got me a cheap little... Looks like a cheap little one. I don't know. Kind of a cool looking. Thin ring. Alright. Looks like it might have had some stones. A couple stones or something in it one time that are out of it now. But yeah, it just looks like a little tiny cheapy ring. Alright guys, here's a pretty interesting find. It's down here pretty deep. It's coming up a 31 on my VDI and it's hoping for something silver. Instead I popped this out of the hole. And I'm not sure what I've got here. Some sort of a tag. Looks like it was attached to something at one time. Um, up at the top it's got a globe. And it says Phelps Dodge. Copper Product Corp. Yonkers, New York, real number 681718. Do not remove this tag, non returnable. Very interesting. I am not sure what this is, guys, but I like it. It's cool. This coin is pretty toasted. It's really hard to see. So Norm brought up an image of it here on his phone. Let me see if I can get you guys a, a picture of that there and see it on his phone. And then uh, one quarter, one nickel, one penny, and then my bling earring. This is my prize of the day out of this park. My beautiful stud earring with a purple heart or a purple stone thing in, in it. And I uh, just came across this really cool find here. It was coming up a 13, just like a nickel. And that's what I was expecting was a nickel. I popped that hole open. I got me a sweet little arrowhead. I like that. That is nice. That's a really cool find. I'm not sure. I don't think it's silver because it was coming in such a low number like a 13. But man, that is a, that's a really neat find. I like that. Huh. That's cool. I got me a some sort of a charm. Looks like the letter P. <gasps> letter P with a lightning bolt. Cool. And I just popped that out. I was expecting a quarter. And instead. I see all these stones. Uh, it looks like a, some sort of a shield or something. Now I know in the past they've had, um, well, what do you call those uh, Renaissance fairs down here? And I have found some costume jewelry from those Renaissance fairs in the past. And I'm thinking. Let me get my shadow out of here so you guys can see this. I'm thinking that's what I have. A piece of costume jewelry from one of the Renaissance fairs. I like it. 
I like it a lot. I got this little guy right here. Looks like a, yep, like an old earring. Pretty cool. I wonder if that might be silver. I'll have to take a look at it once I get it cleaned up, but back there at camp. Could have a piece of silver here. Okay, everybody, I'm out here at Sycamore Ranch camping, and these two guys came by my camp. This is Harvey and Spirit. Hi, guys. Hi. Can everybody say hi to the Harvey and Spirit? All right. Aren't they gorgeous? But this one here was not a bottle cap. This one is a little piece of bling jewelry or something. It's a little elephant, I think. Looks like an elephant. All right, guys. Looks like a oh, it's an earring. Looks like a clip-on earring. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, it's a cool find. Sure beats the heck out of a bottle cap. And I got a nice mid-tone '60s. And I was expecting a pull tab, and I just I'm getting lazy right now because I'm tired. I took my scoop, my sand scoop, and I just went like this with it and scraped the ground like that. And as soon as I did. You can see where I scraped over here. This bad boy popped up and stood up on end and said, Hey, look at me, look at me. See that? I haven't touched it yet. I don't know if it's real. Like I said, it was coming up in the mid-60s. Let's pull it out and see if we got a hallmark. Ooh, it's got a pretty stone. That's nice. It's got like a purplish color stone. I'm not sure what you call it. Maybe an amethyst. You know, I've had this channel up and running. It's 11 months now. My first video that I ever did was actually on Christmas Eve of last year, and I posted that video right at the beginning beginning of January. So I'm right at my 11th month mark um, with my channel, and I am just overwhelmed with the amount of support that I've received from all you guys and I just want to you know tip my hat and tell you thank you very much for supporting my channel and um, you know watching the videos and sharing and liking I really appreciate all the support um, I just recently uh, passed my 200 subscriber mark and um, I hit another milestone last week with my last video uh, that I put up it was the first video that I had that exceeded um, 300 views so far and I just want to thank everybody for all the support and uh, y'all have a great day I'll see you at the next one